The Olympic champion, uh, Tafik Hidayat, who has just uh, celebrated his 24th birthday on the 10th of August. And he is up against the veteran day in Kenneth Jonasson. Seeded number two, Hidayat seeded number six. The seedings reflecting their world rankings, but uh, Darren, they've only met twice before and Hidayat has won both of them. Yeah, things are, you know, looking confident for Hidayat, but Kenneth is, is due a, a, a big win. You know, he's always been there or thereabouts, and this could be the perhaps the championships. And he would have been uh, buoyed by seeing Peter Gader go through earlier and here he is ladies and gentlemen on my right can i join us and jam up in the uh, current left. season Tommy, won the dutch open Indonesia. in september of last year Canada, won the singapore oh. open in november this year runner-up in korea and open and the thailand open Jonathan serving you know, I can't believe Taufik's still only 24. He seems to be on the circuit for such a long time. Being called good. Won the Singapore Open in June. The Indonesian Open last September. And an Olympic gold medal last August. Yeah, great start from Kennett. Very patient, very strong. He's got to keep his patience though, because Taufik can all of a sudden turn it on. Good drive at the body of Taufik though. Well, I don't really struggling with the judgment on that far baseline. All the players have been talking about the wind, the drift in the hall, in the arena. Yeah, good deception from Taufi. Just brushed across the shuttle. specimen uh, than his fellow Dane Peter Gader much bigger man in every sense change of shuttle that's what that little gesture was hey. yeah, Taufik just looking a bit edgy at the start of this game Got settled into his rhythm First uh, poor shot that uh, Jonasson has played. As you say, Tapping hasn't settled at all. No, normally 
very good starter of the game, but this time just looking a bit a bit edgy at the moment. Unforced errors really from them drives, normally so strong at them. It's more like the form we would expect of an Olympic champion. Very strong wrist, Kennet. Able to play the drives with such power. Drifting over the uh, baseline at Jonasson's end. Two very comfortable points for him. Seven, yeah, normally a bread and butter shot for him. And again, looks very tense. Easy unforced error for him there. It really is the uh, most confusing to see uh, the guy play this poorly. Did I imagine Jonasson being 10 love up in this? No, and it, it's, you know, he's playing very steady. He's not making mistakes, but it really is just unforced errors from South Peak. length from him early on settled down very patient was under quite a lot of pressure but that probably would do Taufik it's been probably the longest rally of the game so he's just trying to play himself into this match This young man had points on the board. It's 
it's almost as if he's sort of resigned to losing this one and not exactly busting a gut. No, exactly. Normally his, his reactions on the drives are so good, but at the moment he's, it looks a little bit half-hearted. Some outrageous fortune like this will kickstart Hidayat. be relieved to, to get off the mark. No one likes to be stuck on love. Yeah, nice change of angle from Kenneth. Smash. Oh. <laughs> I suppose we could call that a throat smash. Well, I mean that. That's what we're used to seeing Taufik do, all of a sudden some outrageous shots. And it just seems to have taken him a long while to start producing them. right this time Change the angle to smash the body of Taufi. Went to the net, early net called. Well, it's surely too late to salvage the first game, but one or two signs that Taufik is beginning to find a little bit of form and get carried away. But that's much more like it. Yeah, it's starting to flow a little bit now. One of his best shots up in the air. Thunders it down cross court.
it. He wasn't. Yeah, I'm very well, Kenneth. And in the end, great length. Eleven three then. Jonasson leading in the opening game of this men's singles quarter final against the Olympic champion Tafik Hidayat. for a long time uh, now you want to be worrying him a little he was a 11 love at one stage that's meat and drink to him isn't it really a mid-court smash this lift way too short Stuck on 11, it's broken. chance there yeah, he's been successful at them but this time just hit it in the top of the tape a little bit rushed Jonathan has reached game point with a 14-3 advantage. Eight. And he has the opening game. First game won by it's a surprisingly low-key Taufik Hidayat. Yeah, absolutely. He was expecting a few fireworks from Taufik, but at the moment we, we haven't seen them. 15-3, the margin of victory in the first game. Quickly tell you that I'm afraid uh, English interest, British interest in the World Championships are over. Tracy Hallam has gone down to a straight uh, games defeat to the number two seed in the 
women's singles. Wasn't able to completely capture the uh, score. But um, I have a feeling it might have been 11-3, 11-1. But uh, if we get confirmation of that, I'll let you know. But um, Tracy has had a good tournament. Quarter-finalist here, having reached the quarter-finals of the Olympic Games as well. Has justified her position in the world's top ten. Yeah, she, she'll one, be delighted with the quarterfinals. Done very well again. So the players out for the second game of this men's singles quarterfinal. One that we thought would uh, be one of the highlights of the evening. But not so far because the Olympic champion, the man in your picture, Traffic Diet, really below form. Kenneth Jonasson of Denmark serving, start of the second, having won the first 15 3. Winner of this match will play the winner of the next match scheduled on the televised court. Bao Chun Lai of China, the number four seed against. Chong Wei Li of Malaysia, the number five seed. No oh, sign of Hidayat uh, raising his game at the start of the second. No, you'd think he'd, he'd come out and really give it all to stay in touch with it, but again, we see another drive hit well long. Jonathan seemed to have played himself out of the rally. Great reactions from both players. I thought that was going to be the point that gave Taufik the kick to get back in it, but great defence from Kenneth Jonathan. Just putting a little resin on the uh, racket handle. Stop it slipping. No recovery this time for Jonasson. But now it is so essential that Hidayat gets started, gets some points on the board and stays with his opponent in this second game. Otherwise it may race away from him. to get the first smash back but no chance with a second smash from Taufik good way of wasting some time uh, to uh, run your foot over what you claim is a Bit of perspiration on the court. You never resorted to that when you were tired. No, absolutely not. Doing the shoelaces and a few other things, but never the perspiration.
Great rally. Both players really vying for the drive. It was almost like a doubles match in the middle of that rally. Last now, down you, you feel as if we've got a match on our hands. Yeah, you can just sense there's a little bit more urgency about Taufit's game. He's trying to up the pace a little bit more. Looking a lot more alert. all of a sudden some fantastic rallies yeah brilliant shots that Taufik wasn't getting back in the first game he's now starting to move a little bit brilliant diving defense there and how quickly he was back on his feet not at the end of the rally though but of course uh, having gone down okay. you have left a lot of uh, sweat on the court so the moppers will come out and deal with that Okay, okay. Thank you. Nothing great. You want us to the serve with a 4-3 advantage. Second game, having won the first 15-3. play from Kenneth. Hit the previous winner down the line this time, sees the gap in the forehand side of Taufik, cuts across the shuttle beautifully. Too much deception from Taufik, the net held his racket, a little bit of indecision. 
Just wants to try and keep it steady. as he was in the first game. shot from Kennett, just clipping the tape as it came over. Yes, and it dropped so steeply after it came over. lead is beginning to become significant yeah normally traffic's so good at this shots can't afford errors like that Just hitting the line. Still not playing to much of a margin. Nope, just long. Yeah, right shot from Kenneth. Saw the gap, played it into it, just pushed it too long. for the players to towel down. Apply a little resin in the hand and the racket handle. 4-8 Four Four eight the score in the second game. Diet serving. Jonasson having won the first 15-3. in defence and then the attacking net shot yeah it's good from Taufax what we used to seeing him do so good round the net normally serve
Yeah, I'll be pleased with that. Get the service back as soon as you can. Don't give any points away. Heading across the shuttle to get the reverse spin, as it were. So the game's starting to hot up now. Extremely quick movement from both players. Kenneth just losing his patience a little bit. Right idea. Just wide. <coughs> 177 miles an hour, the fastest shot in that rally. That is very, very quick indeed. Remained unchanged for a few hands now. Still 5 8. Yeah, great clip drop from Kenneth, just touching the side of the line. Sad on eight five. tighter than that. Nine. Nine. Uh, great spin on it, hitting the tape. No chance for Kenneth. Six. Nine. This time on the backhand side, exactly the same shot. to get net cords deliberately and hello this is getting a bit tight now it was nine five now nine seven great power from the backhand side very hard shot to play under big pressure there kept his composure just got out of the way of that drive <laughs> can it move him forward play the shuttle low into the backhand corner but he had great backhand clear
difference between them is a, a single point. his Chinese racket is to hit him a shuttle so he can get a feel for it. Yeah, stood his ground that time. Can it play back to the net? the little gesture of handing over the shuttle quite often they seem to be whacked back in no direction in particular yeah that's right i just left at the net so it's uh played in a very good spirit it's a very good service return yeah one step big leap is gone four points without reply for Hidayat Psychologically so important for Jonathan not to concede the lead and fall behind. And now he has the opportunity to get his nose out in front. Once more, 9-5 he led, 9 all it is now. Slightly worrying times for Kenneth. Was so good in the first game at the driving. Now he's just starting to lose some momentum. Oh. Beautiful touch from uh, Tafa Gidayat. And the Indonesian has the lead for the first time. The nine mark, can he? Johnson, I should say. No, he's getting a little bit anxious. There was an opening there. Just hitting the top of the tape, though. A little bit unlucky with that. Yes, I think knew he had to let off. Great reactions this time from Jonathan. Yeah, made no mistake with that one. Missed the previous one.
Yeah, Kenneth's feet just slipping. A little bit of perspiration on the court. seen much of this sort of form did we in the opening game and that court will certainly need mopping where Jonasson has gone full length It's really time you got off nine. It's the sixth time he's uh, come to serve with nine points on the board. from Taufi. Kenneth thought he had that rally one. Taufi just takes a little step back. shuttle back this time from Jonas and he's getting very frustrated at his inability to add to a score he established with a 9-5 lead oh, what a turnaround to level the match. for so long finally gets off it having saved a game point Power to 
Play the shot. Yeah, very strong in the wrist. Don't often see it. Didn't miss my match. Another game point, of course. So Hidai claims the second game. 15-10. And this match has come alive. It'll go to a decider. Certainly didn't think this would happen at a game and 9-5. Uh, no, absolutely not. I, I just really feel that Kennett had it in the bag, but somehow Taufik turned this match around. Yeah, he certainly has. And uh, he would start the deciding game in five minutes' time as the favourite. Well, early and the first match of the night, a huge upset. And the mixed doubles with the double Olympic champions and number two seeds, Zhang Jun and Gao Ling. The toys just cannot get off the 13 mark. 11, Going down. No, it's a horrible feeling when they're stuck on such a big occasion. Just tensing up, very loose return. the closing stages oh! 11 13 second serve Prapakamol and Tung Tong Kam from Thailand had come from a game down and profited from a lot of mistakes from the world champions of four years ago, the Olympic champions of Sydney and Athens. And now they were two points away from victory. And that was called good. Zhang left it. And it was match point. It was a huge surprise, Darren. Absolutely. What a time to beat the Olympic champions. Fantastic play from the Thailand pair. So with the number two seeds out, and of course so the number one seeds, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems, having to withdraw before the tournament began because of Nathan injuring an ankle. The mixed doubles event is now absolutely wide open. Certainly the biggest surprise of the whole championships so far. Back live we come, and of course uh, the five minute interval has been claimed. With the uh, match between uh, Olympic champion, Tafek Hedayat, and Kenneth Jonasson, the number two seed, tied at one game all. It was sort of imperceptible the way that match turned around. Yeah, I think it it will be very tough for Kenneth now. I think Taufik's in his rhythm. Um, he'll be relieved to have got that that second game in the bag. But I just feel he's got more weapons in 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 his range now to hurt Kenneth in this third game. Yep, having led by uh, the game and at one, nine one. five. One Absolutely One tough minute. to come back and play a deciding game. But as you uh, watch some of the highlights, he is a strong man. But is the mind as strong as the body? That's always a good question. One of the reasons these championships were brought to Southern California was that it does have a big Asian presence.
previous winners of the men's singles. The final game underway. This is the first rally. Long from Kenneth. that was put up on the screen. Now it's one love. I'm afraid uh, most broadcasters have got the score totally wrong. Kenneth Jonasson pointing it out. Uh, it's on the scoreboards as well, I think. Oh, well, now I'm totally confused. Because the umpire was saying one love. And now she's saying three love. Yeah, it was very confusing what was going on there for a minute. I don't know if we was hearing another umpire from another court. But anyway, it's three love it is. And now Jonasson scores looking a little desperate. some points on the board to stay in touch. Casual net shot from Taufik. Nicely gift wrapped. Kenneth's first point. Oh my my, that was a late change of mind. The original decision was that it was good. No overrules in badminton. find his length he was missing so many for a, a game and a half but now it's all starting to come together for him yeah, it's couldn't be much more accurate than that
Yeah, well played from Kennett. Took his chance. Anticipate the net return from Taufik. Took it early, rack it up, just brushed across the net. This is better for the Dane. Just when he thought you know, I had had this one. Jonasson shows his strength of character. Well. So the hands have to go up uh, fairly late then from Hedayat. Service hand for Jonasson, three points gathered. trying to get himself up, get himself going again. Brilliant exchange of drives from both players. Asking for a change of shuttle as Jonasson prepares to serve. 4 5 down, final game. At one stage he was 1 5 down. Five, four. And now the scores are tied. again he isn't doing so well to stay in the rally for so long yeah he's got himself back into this game Taufik missed the previous one but that one just adjusted it slightly Goes the Indonesian. on this quarterfinal day yeah can it he thought the net shot was coming yeah, move yeah. forward <laughs> looks so hard to get back on level terms and now seems that uh, situation slipping away from him one more point uh, and I'd 
needs before a change of ends. Absolutely fantastic. Three net calls went against him. Each one he got back to a perfect length. Brilliant retrieving from him. I wonder he's a little pleased. That was a rally and a half. such a great rally and to give such a cheap point away like that in doubt you've got to hit it can't leave him at this stage in the match and it was well in the players have been talking about there being a lot of wind a lot of drift in the auditorium <laughs> and we will change hands eight points to five It would suggest leading 8 5 that uh, the Olympic champion would go on to take this, but I thought he was going to actually cruise away with this final game when he led 5 1. And he led 5 1, but one thing Kenneth is a great, great fighter, never gives up. He'll battle to the very, very end. Asking for the shuttle to be changed. Traffic driving down the forehand side. Coming in for the straight return, but a flick of the wrist from Kennett. Into the open court. Wild one from Southeek. Missed a smash by a fair distance. So four times the uh, serve has changed hands now. With no change to the score, still 8-5 to the Indonesian. change. Yeah, good smash from Kenneth. Right at the body. The deadlock broken. Broken by the Dane.
Yeah, the rallies are being cut a bit shorter now, both players. A little bit more aggression in their smashing. And after a long match like this, certainly stamina plays a part. Physical fitness. Looking at them, you would say that uh, Amazon is the stronger man, but then he's also carrying rather more weight. Brilliant smash from Taufik. He's gone cross court so many times. Pushes himself around the head. Thunders it at the body of Kennett. No chance of getting out of the way. And suddenly a couple of quick points for the Olympic champion. And he needs five more. Taking it late in the forehand corner. A very, very loose cross court drop. And it was an easy put away for the guy out. And suddenly, he'd been rather stranded on the eight mark. And he's added three points in double quick time. He needs to uh, get it closer again now. Just to score some quick points himself. As you said, Darren, Emerson is never going to quit. serve Kenneth really a bit too short no length on it relatively easy kill for Taufik from Taufik, flicks off, took a step back, knew the smash was coming down the forehand side and just let the shuttle cross court, guided it into the space. is to drive it back but Taufi just stuck his racket out took all the pace away from the shoal mm -hmm. perhaps the look and the words of a man who senses a great opportunity has slipped away Looked down and out the Olympic champion when he trailed 3.15 and 5.9, but now he has match point. And it's over. The 
great comeback by the Olympic champion. A sporting embrace between the two of them at the end. Johansson knows he's let a great chance slip away. But perhaps the uh, tournament is the richer for having the Olympic champion in the semi-finals. Yeah, for a game and a half, Kenneth played so, so well. But the Indonesian came back to take it. There's confirmation of that fact. 3-15, 15-10, 15-7. Yeah, he played, you know, he was under enormous pressure, but he didn't panic. It was a sign of a champion. He kept to his game plan, and in the end, he, he always looked like he had that little bit extra in the third game. There was some terrific play, though, wasn't there? So much to admire. Let's look at the athleticism and the jump smash. Gets off the floor so high. The moment of victory. And these the statistics. Uh, tough on a guy in a long three-set match. Makes only 26 unforced errors, but ends up on the losing side. But perhaps uh, we look at the smash winners. Neither, neither man making an error on serve. That's unusual in a long match as well. Yeah, I mean it was a long match. Very hard pace. Hidayat advances and he awaits the winner of Bao Chun Lai of China or Chong Wei Li of Malaysia. That will be the next match. But uh, as we're coming towards the end of our transmission time, what we're going to do for those of you.